Hello and welcome back my friends to Theory Hammer where we are going over all of the Forge World indexes for Warhammer 40k 10th edition. In today's episode we are doing the Tau and this is going to be a standalone episode I think because there's actually a you know decent amount of different data sheets that's actually in here. So if you're unfamiliar with this series, this is a little bit different than our regular index reviews where we did not discuss points. And that is because we wanted to just go over those and kind of get the data sheets out there and not discuss points because those videos would have been twice as long. Um, in these ones though, the data sheets, there's a lot less of them. And so we're going to be including the points. And if you want to check out any of our other playlists where we go over specific units that we think are good for each race or tactic guns where we discuss different units, things like that, uh, we'll discuss points more in those videos. So go check those out because they are the ones that you're going to want to watch, including this. Before we get into the Tau though, you guys know what to do. You got to leave a comment down below. You got to like the video. You got to subscribe. You got to hit the bell icon. You got to do all the YouTube stuff. I want to know what you guys think. What do you think of the Tau? Are they still super annoying? Do you play them? Let me know down below. Let's get right into it, folks. Revar in a battle suit. It moves eight. It's toughness 10. It's got a two up save and a five up invuln all the time. 15 wounds, leadership seven, and OC of four. This is what it has for ranged weapons. Pulse submunition cannon. It's a blast weapon. 60 inch range, D6 plus two shots, BS4 of course. Strength eight, AP1, and two damage. No. Nope. That's a, that, the typo. That must be a typo. That must be a typo. All right, let me just continue before I get too worked up. So, Battlesuit Fist. No one gives a fuck about that. It's got six attacks with two damage, strength six. Hits on fives. Deadly Demise D6. For the greater good. Battlesuit support system. Eligible to shoot in a turn which it fell back, okay? Nova Shielding. Once per battle, when this model is selected as a target of a ranged attack and use this ability, if it does, until the end of the phase, each time an attack targets this model, if the strength characteristic of the attack is greater than the toughness, subtract one from the wound. Okay, it's not the worst ability ever. On, a, on a something that's toughness 10, that's pretty good, actually. It's once per battle, though, so that's pretty not good. Weapon support system. Each time this model makes a ranged attack, you can ignore modifiers to the hit roll. It doesn't, like, do anything to its gun? Oh, my God. This is a fucking travesty <laughs> right off the bat. <laughs> uh, while this model's wounded, it's even fucking worse. Cool. All right, so this model can be equipped with up to two missile drones. Great. One battle suit. It's got two pull submunition cannons. Great. So you can get, you could get, what, 16 shots with that? Yeah, you can get 16 shots of strength eight, AP one or two damage, which is not a cyclic ion blaster profile. It does shoot real far though. Or you could get six. You could get six. It, you're just as likely to get 6 as you are 16. Let's move on, yeah? Alright, Ravara? Ravara Battlesuit. Yavara? Alright, this one is a movement of 10 with a toughness of 9, 2 up save, 5 up invuln, 15 wounds, leadership 7, OC of 4. Fletchapods, okay. This is what Shadow Sun has 5 shots, uh, strength 3, AP 0, 1 damage, 12 inch range. Ionic Discharge Cannon, very fancy. It's uh, got two different profiles. It's Blast on both of them. So it's got an Overcharge and Standard. They both shoot 18 inches. D6 plus one shots. Strength seven, AP one, damage two. If you overcharge it, 18 inch range, D6 plus one shots, strength eight, AP, AP two, damage three. So it's basically a plasma gun that you're overcharging here. Um, I don't like it. It's got a terrible range. It's got a terrible amount of shots. Phase Plasma Flamer, though. This is hopefully better, because this thing used to be insane. Ignores cover and torrent. 12-inch range. Strength... No. A 10... Wait, what? Did I just have, like, a, a stroke? I'm not even joking. Like, ignores cover, torrent, 10 attacks... It's gotta be a typo. It's strength, it's strength 6 AP 1, damage 1. Um, the Battlesuit Fists are 6 attacks. Whatever. I'm still a little crazed about this. What? It's got 10 attacks. <laughs> it's, I really hope that that's correct. 
Because <laughs> um, that's kind of hilarious. It just always 10 attacks. It's just always 10 attacks. It's strength 6, AP 1, and damage 1. It's just fucking weird, right? Like, it broke my brain. And I feel like that's a typo. And I've spent like two minutes talking about it at this point. But geez, dude, like, yeah, so that's bad. It's good, but it's, it's bad on this thing. Like, ah, that's a weird profile. That's a real weird profile. Deadly Demise D6, for the greater good, battle suit support system. This model is eligible to shoot in a turn which it fell back. Nova Burst, one for battle. Before this model makes a normal move, advance or fallback. You can use this ability if it does until the end of the phase. Its move characteristic is 18. Okay. Once for battle, before this model makes a normal move, advance or fallback move, it can use this ability. So, that means you can move it and you can, you, so you get a move characteristic of 18 plus you can advance. I right, right, I'm pretty sure. Weapon support system. Each time this model makes range attack, you can ignore modifiers. If it's minus, it's minus one to hit if it's got one to five wounds. It's very unimpressive. Can take drones. It's got stuff. All right, vehicle walker fly. Who gives a shit at that point? All right, tetras. These are good though. These you're actually gonna like. These move 14, they're toughness seven. They have a four up save, seven wound, leadership seven, and an OC of two. These things are the same profile as a piranha. They have a different gun though. They have just a pulse rifle. So rapid fire one, 30 inch range with a single shot, BS four, strength five, AP zero, damage one. It's got deadly demise one and infiltrators. So it can deploy real far up there. Uh, it's got four of the greater good. And then it has high intensity marker lights. Each time this unit is selected as an observer unit, the guided unit gets to reroll hits when they target the spotted unit. They reroll any hits. So that's really good when you're exploding sixes is your army rule. So take these things, they are 80 points. Oh, and I forgot to mention the points here. So this stupid thing is 210 points. This stupid thing is 200. So got them out of the way. These are 80, you take them in units of two. Uh, and I'll show you that down here. They have no war gear options and they have the two pulse rifles and close combat weapons, which we don't care about the close combat weapons. I just completely skipped it, forgot it existed. Uh, two to four tetras, that's what I was getting at. 80 points for the two. So they're 40 points a guy, a model. They are vehicle fly with marker lights, so they also give you ignores cover. So these are great, take them. For more stealth drones, these move 16, their toughness 6, they have a 3 up save, 5 wounds, leadership 7, and no OC. They have the Remora Seeker Missile, which is a single shot. It's the same as a regular Seeker Missile, so it's 48 inches, 1 shot, BS4, strength 14, AP3, damage D6 plus 1. And just use, you know, one shot. Then it's got a twin long barreled burst cannon. It's twin linked and it's got a 24 inch range at four shots, hitting on fours like every other Tau thing. It's strength six, AP one, and damage one. Then they have close combat weapons with the whatever. Infiltrators and stealth. So these can infiltrate, they're stealthy, they have for the greater good, so you can use them to become better at shooting. And then you have aerial disengagement. Disengagement, yeah, once per turn. When an enemy unit ends a normal advance or fallback move within nine inches of this unit, if it's not within engagement range, it can move six inches. These things are 160 points for two of them, I think. Yeah. No war gear options. They're 80 points a piece. They have a twin long barreled burst cannon, two seeker missiles, fly, a marker light. That's interesting, I guess. So if they guide something, it gives them ignores cover. Uh, I'll leave them at home and move on to the Taunar Supremacy Armor, because this thing's kind of cool, but also not great. Moves eight, toughness 13, uh, two up save and a five up invuln, 30 wounds, leadership seven, and OC of 10. So this thing has like all these guns, or it can take all these guns. It's got a variation of guns. It's got lots of, lots of shooty guns. Burst cannons, these are 18 inch range. They're four shots. They are BS4, everything's BS4. Strength five, AP zero, one damage. You got your Fragmentation Cluster Shell, it's a blast weapon, 24 inch range, 2d6 plus 6 shots, strength 6, AP 1, damage 1, Fusion Eradicator, Melta 3, 24 inch range, 5 shots, strength 10, AP 4, damage d6, Heavy Rail Array, Heavy Rail Cannon Array, it's got dev wounds, it's heavy, it's 120 inches, it's got 2 shots, strength 26, AP 5, flat 16 damage. Then it's got a Nexus Missile Launcher as an option. That's 36 inches, eight shots, strength eight, AP three, damage two. 
the Pulse Ordnance Driver, Anti-Infantry 2+, 60-inch range, 8 shots, Strength 5, AP1 Damage 3, Smart Missile System, that's indirect, 30-inch range, 3 shots, Strength 5, AP0 Damage 1, and then your Tri-Axis Ion Cannons. They got two different profiles, they're either... Yeah, all right, so two different profiles, both blast. They are either Strength 8, AP2, Damage 2, or they are Strength 9, AP3, and Damage 3. They always shoot 36 inches. They're always D6 plus 3 shots. So I'm pretty sure you can take two of those. So still just not doing it. I mean, Strength 9, AP3, and Damage 3 will get some damage through on stuff, but this thing is like 750 points. Let's actually check. Seven hundred and ninety points for this thing. So that's pretty crazy. Um, let's see what it does. Deadly demise D six plus three for the greater good. Coordinated strike. While this model is a guided unit, each time it makes an attack on the spotted unit, reroll a hit roll of one. That's its ability. That's actually its ability. You heard me right. Its ability says, "I don't have an ability." It also has Super Heavy Walker. Each time this model makes a normal move, advance or fallback, it can move over, over, over other models, not Titanic, and train features that are four inches or less in height as if they were not there. Combat, it does have some crushing feet that I completely glossed over, so it's got six attacks, hitting on fives. Strength eight, AP one, damage two. One to 10 wounds left, then it's minus one to hit, and minus five from its OC. So, whatever, pretty cool. Pretty cool. This model's Tri-Axis Ion Cannon can be replaced with a Fusion Eradicator. Its Fusion Eradicator can be replaced with an Ion Cannon. Its three Pulse Ordnance Drivers can be replaced with one of the following. Two Nexus Missile Launchers, one Heavy Rail Cannon thing, and one Fragmentation Cluster Shell Launcher. Hmm. So yeah, it comes with the four Burst Cannons, a Fusion Eradicator, three Pulse Ordnance Drivers, four smart missile systems, and a tri-axis ion cannon, and then crushing feet. So, that's all right. I mean, it's probably worth its points. Uh, it's pretty cool. I just wish its weapons were a little bit stronger. I guess I can't complain with this thing. The heavy rail cannon, two shots, bitten on threes. Hopefully tetras are helping you out there. Hmm, getting hits, doing stuff. All right, so let's move to the Barracuda. 20 inch move, so this is gonna be a flyer. 20 plus inches, toughness 10, three plus save with a five up invuln, 14 wounds, leadership seven, OC of zero. So toughness 10 makes it pretty tough. 14 wounds, pretty good. Five up invuln all the time, pretty good. All right, so cyclic ion blasters are what it can take. It's got a 18 inch range, three shots, strength seven, AP one, damage one, or if you overcharge it, it is strength eight, AP two, damage two. Uh, if you overcharge any weapon, like, ever in this game, it's gonna get hazardous, so I'm just gonna stop mentioning that. Then it's got the Ion Cannon. That's gonna be either a blast weapon that's 60-inch range, D6 plus 3 shots, Strength 7, AP1, and Damage 2, or it's gonna be a blast weapon with the same exact profile that's Strength 8, AP2, and Damage 3. Then you have your Long Barreled Burst Cannon. That is gonna be 8 shots at 24 inches, Strength 6, AP0, Damage 1, Missile Pod, 30 inch range, 2 shots, Strength 7, AP 1, Damage 2, and then Seeker Missiles, you know, 1 shot weapon, Strength 14, AP 3, Damage D6 plus 1 at 48 inches, Swift Strike Burst Cannon, that's 36 inch range, 16 shots, Strength 4, no, hitting on 4, Strength 6, AP 1, Damage 1. Then you got your Swift Strike Railgun, so this is Devastating Wounds at 72 inches, Got a 20 strength, AP 5, and damage D6 plus 6 with just one shot. So it's got Deadly Demise D3, it's got Further Greater Good, and then Aerial Dogfighter. Each time an attack targets this model, subtract one from the hit roll. Okay. 1 to 5 wounds remaining, it's minus 1 to hit. So the Barracuda, let's see. The Barracuda is not there, because it's over here somewhere. Barracuda is 220 points. This is going to run you 220 points for minus 1 to hit. Pretty tough. Um, let's see what it's got. So it's got two long barreled burst cannons, swift strike burst cannon, two missile pods, and an armored hull. This model's two long barreled burst cannons can be replaced with two cyclic ion blasters. I probably would do that, right? Maybe. 
And this model's Swift Strike Burst Cannon can be replaced with one of the following, one Swift Strike Railgun or an Ion Cannon, and you can take up to four Seeker Missiles. That's awesome. So this thing's actually pretty good. It's got a lot of firepower. It's gonna have two Missile Pods, a Railgun, probably two Burst Cannons, or two uh, Ion Blasters. Uh, yeah, it's pretty good. And then four Seeker Missiles, Vehicle Aircraft Fly, Barracuda. Ooh, Barracuda. All right, Tiger Shark. 20 inch move. Tums 11. Wow. Uh, three up save. Five up in one. 18 wounds. Leadership seven and OC of zero. This thing is chonky. It's a chonk flyer. It's got a burst cannon. Uh, we know what that does. The ion cannon. We hopefully know what that does. We just talked about it. Missile pods. Those are uh, strength seven, AP one, damage two with two shots at 30 inches. And Seeker Missiles are the same, so they're one-shot thingy-majigs. Sky Spear Missile Rack, so this is Anti-Fly 3 plus and Blast, 72 inches, D6 plus 1 shot, Strength 6, AP 1, and Damage 1. So that's interesting. Um, hmm. Swift Strike Burst Cannon, same thing. So 36 inch range with 16 shots, Strength 6, AP 1, Damage 1. And then Swift Strike Railgun. Dev Wounds, one shot, 72 inches. Strength 20, AP 5, damage D6 plus 6, so those are pretty awesome. Pretty awesome things. It does have melee weapons that you're never going to worry about. Deadly Demise D6 plus 2, got it for the greater good. Strafing Run, in your shooting phase after this model is, is, has shot, select an enemy unit that cannot fly that was hit by one or more of those attacks. They must take a battle shock test. Transport Bay, this thing's a transport. The bear has a transport capacity of 12 tactical drones. No. Yes. That's it. The bear has the tr has the transport keyword and has a transport capacity of 12 tactical drones. Okay, for 1 to 6 wounds, you're minus 1 to hit. Um all right. So, it's got two burst cannons, two ion cannons, two missile pods, armored hull and a transport bay. Its two ion cannons can be replaced with one of the following. Yeah, you take the two rail guns. It can take six Seeker Missiles, and its transport bay can be replaced with two Sky Spear Missile Racks. Interesting. So, two Burst Cannons, two Rail Guns, two Missile Pods, two Sky Spear Missiles, six Seeker Missiles. Holy crap. Vehicle Aircraft Fly, Tiger Shark. Uh, the Tiger Shark is 275 points. This is a steal. Um, this thing's either kind of good, or completely fucking terrible like every other flyer. So we're gonna move on to the AX-01 Tiger Shark. This has the same profile. So 20 inch move, Thomas 11, three up save, five up invuln, 18 wounds and uh, leadership seven and OC zero. It's got a burst cannon as well. It's got cyclic ion blasters, which are the ones you take on crisis suits. That's different. Missile pods, yep. Um, secret missiles, yep. Twin heavy rail cannon. Twin heavy rail cannon, interesting. So dev wounds, twin linked, 120 inch range, just one shot. Uh, everything hits on fours, the whole index is gonna hit on fours. 26 strength on this heavy rail cannon. Damn, AP five and flat 12 damage. So, okay. Armored hull, whatever, deadly demise D6 plus two. Titan hunter, this model's twin heavy rail cannon and Seeker Missiles have the Anti-Titanic 3 plus when targeting units within half range. Interesting. So that's pretty ridiculous because that means on a 3 up you're just doing 12 wounds to a vehicle. Or, um, you know, whatever. A Titanic thing could be a monster, I guess. But that's pretty good. That is pretty good. But just one shot, I don't like that at all. It's Seeker Missiles get it though? Yeah, that's pretty good. Um, how many points is the Elder Tiger Shark here. 315. It's more. It's significantly more than the other Tiger Shark. Nah. Nah, the regular Tiger Shark's definitely the one to go with. Alright, so it can be equipped with six Seeker Missiles, yep. Two Burst Cannons can be two Cyclic Ion Blasters. So two Cyclic Ion Blasters, two Missile Pods, one Twin Heavy Rail Cannon, and, C and six Seeker Missiles. I'd rather have the two regular Rail Cannons. I think. And then the, the sky burst missile pod hammer thing. That seems better. Vehicle aircraft fly. 
Okay, so this is the last data sheet in this index here. So we actually are at the bottom here. So the Manta, 20 inch move, toughness 14 with a two up save and five up in bone. 60, uh, 60 wounds, yeah. Leadership seven and OC of zero. Heavy rail cannon, that's well, the same thing we just saw on the Tiger Shark. The ion cannon, that's the thing we see on um, rail gun things, the rail tanks, the hammerheads, those things. So that's 60 inch range, D6 plus three shots, strength seven, AP one, two damage, or strength eight, AP two, three damage, blast. Long barreled burst cannon array, 24 inch range, 32 shots, strength six, AP one, damage one. Missile pod, we know what that is. Secret missile, we know what that is. Deadly demise, 3D6. Has hover, has for the greater good, and then it has aggressive deployment in your shooting phase after this model is shot. Select one enemy unit hit by one or more of those attacks until the end of the phase. Each time a friendly model that disembarks from the transport this turn makes an attack that targets that enemy unit, you can reroll the wound roll. Okay. Aircast Colossus. Each time you target this model with a stratagem, you must spend three times that stratagem's stated CP cost to do so. If it has one to 20 wounds remaining, it's minus one to hit. Yeah, so it's kind of what you expect. It's probably a transport. No war gear options, it's a Manta. It has two heavy rail cannons, six ion cannons, two long barreled burst cannons, two missile pods, 10 seeker missiles, and then an armored hull. It has a transport capacity of all of the following. 200 infantry? <laughs> or tactical drones, four devilfish or sky ray gunship or hammerheads, eight battlesuit models with a wounds characteristic of nine or less. Holy shit. This thing can carry a large, large army by itself, and it is probably 2,000 points or more. That's gotta be more than 2,000 points. Manta, 2,100 points, damn. It's too bad you can't just see somebody run a Manta in 2,000 points. Uh, it's a vehicle, aircraft, fly, Titanic, transport, marker light, Manta. And that is it for the Tau. That does it for our little fishy people, our fishy hooved Tau people with cool ass Gundams and really cool looking models, actually. Um, yeah, so that's gonna do it, folks. That is the Tau Forge World Index complete. Um, there's only a couple of units in here that I would really recommend using. The Tetras, for sure, are the best unit in here. They're definitely gonna be a part of our Tau Index breakdowns where we go over like the units that we care about, their points, and how they interact with the game and that kind of stuff. So check those out as well. Uh, you're going to see a playlist for those as well somewhere on our channel. Maybe it's even being recommended to you. I don't really know. But either way, I really appreciate your guys' support. I appreciate you getting to the end here with us. Leave a comment down below. Tell us what you think of the Tau Forge World Index. And of course, like the video, subscribe for more, hit the bell icon, and I will see you little Tau fish people in the next one.